new YouTube welcome to upside DIY so I made a few more of these skateboard tails and I redid my step two of uh, making these dental making these dental trays so there's different pieces there's roughly around eight of them but I have two of these and they could just go inside of these template uh, I have one of these and I kind of marked where I need the tabs to uh, you know be sectioned off and then I'm gonna fold those and make uh, so yeah I'm redoing these I've got to actually tape put tape on the back so these are the steps uh, templates plastic outline assemble so that's pretty much step two I would say and then uh, I got a part of step three done, molding and uh, making and using these trays. So, so I kind of put them inside of a safe area, inside of a plastic bag to keep dust off. Um, I'm doing other uh, typical projects to help me um, pretty much uh, use pretty much liquid nail. So here's some liquid nail or silicone. It just depends. And then I'm going to make um, fake teeth. But uh, I'm not at step three. Or this may be step three. Like, um, but I'm going to use stuff like that and this bubble gum. So I've got this in hydrogen peroxide for at least a week. If not a little bit more longer. Um, so I'm going to take a piece off. And then I'm going to put it inside of a plastic tray like that. It's always good to have a clean and a dirty tray sitting around. So I basically just took off the lid. And now I'm going to just get some of these pieces out. With some chopsticks. So I got three pieces out. I forgot to add some uh, laundry detergent to help me uh, further clean this up. And some of it has some paper on it and stuff that I need to clean off. So I basically have some laundry detergent. Then I put a little dab on there. And then I'm going to try to make the, this gum flat. So I've been cleaning up around my space. And then now I basically have some extra pieces of wood. And then, and then I'm going to just try to flatten these. But before that I'm going to just look around and pick out and you know get these prepared for flattening so this one is ready to be flattened so just get these prepared and just try to flatten it maybe um, next time if this doesn't work I could try to boil I'm pretty sure boiling this would really help out so I'll say I uh, got a q-tip involved and I started to rub on pieces but this stuff can probably be boiled and I try to leave uh, you know the surface of where I was cleaning up as a good reference point but yeah this uh, you know it still needs to be worked with maybe heating it up it doesn't flatten that easily but but I could probably use like a hand vise and things like that or a metal vise and really put a lot of pressure to help me flatten this out all right, so that's most of what I wanted to try to get on camera. I'm gonna uh, remake this part of uh, this video some other time, and uh, I could probably get this stuff really flattened out and cleaned up. So, and I just want to keep try to keep this. Uh, you know, I, I might be able to, to trim off some excess and keep this uh, kind of like rolled up to help me. Um, make impressions of where teeth are I could probably use this piece and like where the missing tooth is and put that in there but this stuff is a little bit hard uh, for um, for what I was expecting I'm gonna have to find a different type of clay but you, um, I could easily make a good impression of the bottom tooth and stuff um, and e even location of where the uh, you know dimensions of the teeth are. So yeah, uh, you know I'm getting to this step 
of the video whereas uh, I, I need to work on things a little bit more but just having this stuff out uh you know um and having to do the other stuff kind of keeps me on track of at least updating part two of uh step number two Even like if you even have like, uh, you know, brand new bubble gum, you could use that eventually. That would definitely work. Um, having brand new bubble gum. So, uh, let's see. I just can't wait to finish up most of my other ideas and steps. So, yeah, just to update you guys on the skateboard, I countersank. So there is going to be a screw that I have inside this plastic. I did go and find the right size screws. I made a couple of drill bits. This is, and I had a template and I measured out where the center is. Uh, this is where the countersink actually is. So it doesn't go all the way through. Uh, and then I have another drill bit that uh, I measured for... Um, really good drill bit this is gonna last me for for a good amount and I have the, this drill bit taped off but those are kind of like the heavy-duty screws uh, um, I might even you know have to test the size of this countersink it's a little too small so I gotta find another drill bit and stuff eventually but as uh you, you know as far as finishing up the skateboard it was sitting right here underneath um yeah those are just pretty much the tails that i'm gonna have i'm gonna glue it and then screw it on there but uh i got most of the stuff now i just need to find a drill bit and i have a few drill bits in here and things like that so and I've got some clear tape. Instead of getting, I'm going to be taping up more of these boxes just to help me uh, keep them lasting longer. And um, I'm also painting inside of this area. I have, uh, you know, stuff that I've been working on. And I didn't make a video, but this kind of shows you guys, uh, you know, just random um, jobs and stuff that I'm finding for myself just to keep me busy and uh you know having stuff to test out and try out and stuff uh and also eventually i'm going to make these into a better materials like acrylic or wood and i've got some more uh plants trying to grow um yeah i've got to look for plum trees and um, fruit trees, I don't know, and maybe find branches that I could actually try to grow, uh, leave some leaves on, and then um, hopefully it will start to, uh, the branch has to be a pretty grown branch, you know, um, it's got to be a really thick established branch, I would think, um, to help, uh, you know, or maybe you could put a brand, you know, like a, a really small growth right into dirt maybe that will help it and, and keep it watered uh, for a week or two maybe a month and then um i'm gonna make a way to grow this cantaloupe so i was kind of cleaning up and I, I got this bucket with holes in here so this will make a pretty good um way to grow like a, a really young plant and then i'm gonna put a screen on top like some bird netting or I would actually prefer like some aluminum but uh yeah it just depends maybe um and it'll help protect the plant until it grows further and having like a waste basket is pretty good uh I could actually try to use this uh if I put some holes at the bottom and stuff and you know get some really clean dirt and stuff this would actually make a good way to you know put seeds and uh you know have this you can have a lot of sunlight and stuff outdoor and things i might start up 
a special uh like in the kitty pool i might start up a special area um to really help grow some plants year round and stuff and just reusing extra buckets now i have two and i'm going to be trying to uh grow some some cantaloupes and i'm going to try a new way of having a screen and it's going to help protect them and stuff so so I got a lot of stuff to finish up. The mailbox, I need to paint the inside and and um, get that set up and everything like that. Uh, fixing a fence board that, um, so I got the dimensions and things. So I'm pre-painting and then installing. And I got a, a nice plastic toolbox. Uh, and um, I got it on a free curb pickup and stuff. So everything... Uh, for that is, you know, just sitting around, I might put some hair clippers and things like, you know, just parts. Uh, there's actually some hair clipper, uh, guards and things. And just having stuff to clean up, you know, and put to the side and starting to, um, you know, just get used to, uh, actually finishing up and trying to probably, I might store... Uh, my plastic bottles there for now. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, And then getting stuff cleaned up in the work area So yeah, there's really uh, some um, You know take on this video is uh, I didn't show you guys this this is and You know having the some of this ad adhesive and stuff sitting around to help uh, you know do the final uh, tests and at least I could figure out, you know, ways to, uh, you know, ha uh, set up stuff. Uh, whereas I, I've got oil and stuff. So I, I smear oil on this and then I could use the liquid nail. And then I would make the uh, molding imprint into the liquid nail. So I smeared a little bit of just random oil, like cosmetology oil. And now I've got this liquid nail, and I'm going to just try to outline something for the tooth. So I got this out of the kit that I have, and then I'm going to um, use plastic wrap, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to cut some of this plastic wrap. So this could be the bubblegum impression. Alright, so I wrapped this up in plastic wrap, and I put some oil around the edges where I'm going to be molding, and then I'm going to try to make... And then I'm going to try to put the liquid nail. Um, this, the, this, I'm also making like a rail on top and the bottom out of some plastic pieces. So I'm going to put that there for now. And right here I've got some more of these plastic pieces cut out. There's a lot of these. So I'm going to straighten out some of these edges and then I'm going to glue it. Okay, so I've got some of the liquid nail. And, um... I'm going to spray another lay, uh, row, line right there. Alright, so I put down that other line. Oops. And then I'm just going to try to fit this in. And I need the back teeth and pretty much the mid, the front mids. And what I'm going to do is try to squeeze some more. The, having the wall on top of that. Uh, but hopefully when this dries up, I'm going to have a, a pretty good mold. Okay, so right there I kind of made a wall for the back teeth and the front mids. And now I'm going to use like a popsicle stick and try to uh, even out any glue. So I'm going to use this. Okay, so I smear some, but I still need to get a few places. One, two spots. I'm trying to make uh, pretty much a decent location wise and hopefully uh, by the time this dries up I could go inside and uh, make a mold of the inside part but that's going to be in a day or two. So I'm just adding a little bit more on the outside. Alright YouTube thanks for watching. That's most of my video so I got this side and the, my teeth. And this is going to be my, my way of casting or molding and casting. Have a good day. Bye.